one minute to prepare on the topic and afterward you are asked to speak one to two minutes. This is the main gist of speaking part two. And here you can see on the screen two to three minutes. The time a duration is two to three minutes. You will be given one minute to prepare about the topic. You will be given a topic in the use paper, in one paper, and you will have one minute to prepare. And afterward, you are asked to speak for one to two minutes. Means up to two minutes. Sometimes you can cover two minute time. Sometimes immediately cover two minute time. Uh, don't worry. If you just cover one hundred, uh, sorry, one minute forty five second. Then 15 seconds, examiner may ask you a follow-up question. It's okay for you. But you just try your best to speak more and more sentences and try to cover two minutes time. Okay, uh, after saying this, I want to ask one question. Like, if you are speaking continuously and you are not wrapping up your ideas, but the time is over, is it okay or not? We have to mention all the question of answer. You need to mention all the information uh, demand of the question. Okay, awesome, you're right. But sometimes what happened that it's better to mention all the information of the question in your answer. But sometimes students speak uh, for two minutes and complete. And, but there are some uh, ideas left and they just tend to cover, you are not allowed. If the time is over, examiner may say you, stop, your time is up. Okay, it's okay. It doesn't matter whether you just wrap up or not, but try your best to include all the answer of the question that you asked. I'll just talk about a bit later. So what are the things that we just keep in your mind while I'm uh, talking, while I'm speaking on the topic for two minutes time. I've been looking at the question topic and you just um, uh, make some plan, then you speak. But generally, what are the things that you just mentioned while you were answering to the question? What are the criteria to be mentioned about the answer for tax achievement in poetry speaking? Actually, this is very important part. Okay, now let's go to the screen. You are offered a question on car and asked to give a speech for two minutes, also given one minute prepare for preparation. So what are things that you need to cover for pre uh, to prepare about the topic? I'll just talk about it a bit later, but without making, without having some preparation about the topic, please never change to speak because it will be penalized and you, you will just get lost what you are saying and your ideas may not be logically connected. So that's why you need to focus on the topic and you should have obviously one minute and use this one minute properly to think what you're gonna speak and what the criteria, what the plot that you're gonna make about the, about the topic so that you can be more fluent and your ideas can be really in flow so that examiner can in um, like, Examiner may just love your answer and provide you high band score in your case. The topic on the tax card, it is, it is called Q card, are about a, a book, film, television program, clothes, piece of music, object, place you like, or person you like, or a special journey, or a special day, something like that. Very basic topic. One example describe about a person that you like. Okay, you can just talk about celebrity or, or or your family member or whoever, you, just, you can just talk about these things. But you need to speak uh, more fluently, creating more ideas, making a plot and making a story. Uh, it's like a story narration as well, because sometimes the topic may be very common to you and sometimes may not be common to you. So in this regard, if you are very clever to make a plot on the topic, and you can speak for too many times. At least you just work hard that you just try to collect the information about the topic by yourself, by creating a story on your own basis. It may be a real story or a hypothetical it up to you. Actually, we say honestly speaking, but it's not, not speaking honestly. No need to speak honestly about the topic. You just need to speak more and more sentences about the topic so that examiner, examiner may can be influenced by your answer. Now let's go tips for speaking part. At first, I'm gonna just recite the tips and provide you an uh, example question as well and how to start uh, and how to wrap up this, I'll give you an idea. So wait for a while. Okay, the topic on the task card are about a book, as I told you before, film, television, program, a clothes, piece of music, object, place, you like, person, you like, special journey, special day, people you have influence or something like that. Use one minute time to plan, yes. So what we do during this time, you need to read the question and online the main verb, the question is in past form or present form, that's on the basis of tense form that you're gonna speak. 
then after you just come on the sub question sub question means about the topic of the topic there may be three ws question so if you make a plan of any topic based on five w what where when how why basis then obviously you can cover all the part of the to topic in your answer is asim told me a bit earlier so you may not be lack feel lack of ideas oh i just cover one minute time but lack of idea what you speak okay banne ke banne something like that is may not be happen in your case so if you think whatever topic you will be given no there is no problem but you just make a happy job making ideas or creating ideas generating ideas about the topic on the basis of five ww whatever the topic is okay what where when how and why basis if you think for a while and on the basis of is uh ww you just create three sentences then five into three means 15 sentences obviously you can produce that means you can cover too many time properly by speaking on the topic that is really good part so those students who may not be able to cover too many time by speaking on the topic then it can be a problem it no worries it, it doesn't matter whether you are a good fluent speaker or not but if you are not covering too many time if you don't have ideas to um, be spoken um, in for part two then obviously your score will be lower in the case okay now make a brief written plan that helps you to keep on the subject means you just you will have paper raw paper make a short notes okay i'm going to cover this part this part this part and on the basis of the criteria and the short you can speak for two minute time you can obviously cover two minute time use various vocabs but they must be relevant to the subject i think uh, i had already told about the vocabulary case in last session means whatever you just use the word it must be contextual it must be authentic in terms of meaning otherwise you will be penalized so don't be influenced by new vocabulary that it that may be your out of head and out of mind so those words which you are already familiar and those words which you have already played with the word in a practice time then obviously these words obviously comes in our mind and you can use in your speaking so it's like in okay unlike in writing tasks we just think for a while and introduce a new word but in the speaking uh, you just continuously speak what comes what word comes to your mind on the basis of your word that you going to speak so if you just think for a while to think and to produce a new word and then say it that means you are not being a fluent speaker so please what the words comes in your mind means those words which are already familiar with you and you are familiar with that word they, they come in your mind and on the basis of this word you're going to speak for too many time so please be aware and be sensitive while before you use the word in your cases now another one is be aware how much you can speak for two minutes maximum yes It's not sure, guys, whether I just cover two minute time or not because I don't have words in the exam time. But generally, you can just guess it out. Uh, what is my speed and how long I can speak? Uh, whether I can uh, cover two minute time or not? You can practice time and again at your home. So on the basis of your level, you can check it out. You can have tentative, tentatively a time management. Okay, I can cover two minute time. Um, two minute is really enough for me. Two minutes, uh, two minute uh, is really short for me because I can speak more than two minute all the time. When I'm coming to the main point, it's only two two minute. Oh, this can be a problem. So you need to check it out at home. Look in the mirror, say the time, record your sound, and and speak and listen back to your audio and look at the words whether you just cover two minute two minute or not because you are the teacher of your one in its speaking board. It was we just. uh tell our student teach our this student please you need to speak more and more sentences then after we just correct your mistake and improve your english proficiency in speak okay guys yes guys <laughs> okay you need to focus on the time management maximum here i'm i'm mean to say that because sometimes you should speak one minute and sometimes while you are coming to the main point it's already two minute time so please what the things that you need to speak in which for middle for for at the end of the pod so you need to work hard a bit later i'm going to tell you okay make make notes on the, uh, about the topic not the sentences if you have question describe about the book that you have recently read It means you can talk about any source of book it's okay your course uh, content book or uh, noble book or whatever or biography or autobiography you can talk any source of book 
but on the basis of book topic if you're gonna uh, think for a while in uh, the, that you you're gonna make a short notes please don't make note in sentence because you don't have time to uh, produce sentence in your paper the pictures you're gonna speak you just try to make short notes and on the basis of notes you can speak for too many time okay while you are making notes what are the things that you keep in your mind You tell me. WH questions. Yes, you are right. Five WH question. Five W you need to uh, keep in mind that on the basis of five W you're gonna plan. So obviously, if you just make a plan on the basis of five W, and it can be a really effective for you to to cover two minute time. Getting me? That's good. Yes, so, sir. Write the short notes. Uh, in vertical order comes easier to see. Means from one to in a chronological order. So that if, if you just give a short glance on the paper and you can just produce a sentence. So sometimes you, some students do like that. They just look in the uh, paper of short notes and just speak on the basis of paper. But I just say to you that you can just look at the paper like this one. You can just speak in more and more sentences. You can maintain the eye contact with the examiner. And here, please don't speak fast. You just take short pauses here. That will think like you are just answering, not answering, you are just reciting anything to your friends in front of your friend like that. Manu ki timre saathile majja sang aapnu katha sunai rakhu jo jostu pari, you need to speak like that. Okay? If you just speak in this way, obviously your answer uh, will be more authentic and you examiner can be influenced by your answer. Use nouns, verb, adjective, adverb for your notes. Obviously, I you you need to use wide range of a sentence structure means you need to use nouns over there box over adjective and adverb to the greater accent so their examiner may find a variety in your sentence structure so sometimes uh, like uh, spontaneously it can um, come in a sentence but those students who are struggling for this sentence structure please they need to work hard so work hard means in the um, in your practice time at your home, you just take longer pauses and recite the sentence. Again, longer pauses and recite the sentence because you're going to practice over here sentence to sentence. And then after you just come to a paragraph form. Clear? Now, second last, use connecting words or phrases. Definitely, in part two speaking, our answer will be laying there like a paragraph, body paragraph, something like that. And obviously, here you need to use wide range of connectives over here. Like, okay, in the second part of this talk, I'm going to say something about, oh, I forgot to mention one thing about that um, trip to Kathmandu. Okay. Not only that, or uh, on the top of um, that, uh, beside these, on the second day, we just move something like that. You need to use these indicators, connectives, and Johnson in on your speaking, then your sentence will be more relevant and uh, logically connected to each other. Okay, last one is don't learn by heart, means you are not allowed to uh, recite the answer that you only learned, something like that. So a bit earlier, I had told you that speaking part two is you need to answer to the question like you are reciting something to your friend. Uh, to someone else. So please don't like, don't say in this way. Okay. Okay. Today I'm going to talk about one place that I have recently visited. That place is Pokhara. Pokhara is a very beautiful place. Uh, uh, at the beginning, I was not interested in visiting Pokhara, but one of my friends called me and the series just insisted me to go there. Otherwise, um, I will be phased out from the um, company there. So I just visited this place and this place is very beautiful. Something like that. If you speak in this way, this is that the students are not producing by them spontaneously. That means you are governed by long answer and you will be penalized in this regard. So you can just take a bit longer pauses. Okay. Uh, well, today I'm going to talk about a uh, three, uh, which is really, really exciting for me. Uh, I want to recall that uh, event when I was in when I was in a uh, school label uh, uh, to or I think five years back, uh, the trip uh, um, was from Chiton to Kathmandu. Okay, I'm talking this very ca casual way. Okay, you can be considered. Don't be fast. Just very spontaneously, you need to produce the sentences. 
it should be natural thing not that you are not you are like a news reader and you are just reciting and reading the answer please maintain your pace and speed and your enthusiasm in speaking for two otherwise whether you just cover two minute time or not it doesn't matter it, it doesn't give uh, give you a good uh, scoring on part two section okay guys this is very important part guys now let's move to another one okay this is the sample question for part two and part two we say q card question and the examiner may say like okay thank you for part of speaking now i would like to take you a second part of speaking in this part i'll give you a topic and a paper and you will have one minute to prepare on the topic and after what you have to speak for two minutes did you understand examiner may ask you uh, may recite in this way and you are given a, a question on paper you just read the question describe well-known person that you like or admire okay well-known person means my job is about person okay i'm going to talk about person her question is you like okay in present tense this is the main question okay i just go to the sub question who this person is okay present tense what this person has done okay present um perfect tense okay present form why this person is well known okay explain why you admire this person okay i'm going to talk about person but cover 5w who where when okay who you got to just talk about who is that person two, two three sentence where you met or where uh, that person lives and when you just um, uh, got to know him okay or or and how his character attribute and contribution and why this person is well known definitely you're going to cover 5w on the basis of 5w you, you can just produce good sentence structure your ideas your answer may be off topic and one part here if your answer is going off topic in this regard examiner may not stop you it's like in part one or part three so you need to be focused on the topic and speak very good sentence within the topic clear okay guys one question here are you listening to me properly? Yes, yes, sir. Sir. Yes, yes, sir. Sir. yes, sir. Okay, I'm just looking for the responses from Pramila as well. Okay, Pramila? Whether you are uh, con um, comfortable or not in this regard, please respond me. Okay. Describe a well-known person that you like or admire. Means here a student can only talk about a well-known person or any, any sort of person can be uh, given as an example. What do you think? Anyone. Any sort of person. Any sort of person, okay. It doesn't mean that Salman Khan must be there or Saruk must be there or Rabbi Lamis and something like that. But you just talk about that person whom you in real to the greater extent. When I was a student, I just, you, when I had a question uh, associated, with, about the, um, associated with, uh, with the person topic, I used to talk about my brother because I had produced a good any structure about my brother. Okay, if I, have a, if I have a question about person, okay, I'm not going, going to talk about my brother, but this any structure may work about some other person that you're going to speak. Like describe about a well-known comedian, but not from your country. You can do, you're gonna talk about Kapil Sharma? Kapil Sharma, yes, Kapil Sharma, okay. Or you can talk, you can just give one example, one name of any source of person. No problem. That your sandy stocks are must be good one. Clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, prompt. We, we can say prompt for Q card question as well. Prompt word for section two mean. Okay, I just come here. Okay, now it's to uh, make a plan over here about the person. When you have a person, you can talk about. One more, one more time, I'm going to revise. Planning. Who? Where? When? Clear? Just make a, some ideas. Then after, you can talk about the appearance of that person. Okay. Then after, personality. Then after, contribution. Okay, profession or character. Then your reason why you are my. You just wrap up the ideas. Now obviously you can cover too many times. It doesn't matter. It isn't a problem. 
but it can be a problem those who are the novice those who are beginner so on the basis of plan if you just came to speak looking in the mirror uh, one day it can be a uh, very difficult for you second day it can be awkward for you as well but third and fourth day you can just try you just uh, can find your feet and you just feel really suiting and comfortable so please work hard in this regard in this way so that you can uh, really say your good score in your speaking part to actually okay how to start sometimes students say okay today i'm going to talk about a person that i like to i like okay you can start in this way or you can say all the person are not same and some person are really good and some person gives us good impression but today i'm going to talk about the one person who has given me a good impression in my life that person is no uh, of that person or he is none other than my own brother he is well known in our society because he is an social he is a social activist we can just talk about this is a background information about the topic it is really good one or you can start with i would like to talk about a well known person okay he is known other than but you can say or i'm going i'm going to describe uh, about or i want to talk about or uh, what i would like to talk about here is that the well known person whom i had met last year okay you can just describe or some phrases to talk about background information background details that i just did a bit earlier as a sample for you so which one is better for getting 7.5 so what do you think second one second one mean i am going to describe how to and yeah okay it's better it up to it depends on the student like if you are very comfortable i'm going to describe is okay no problem or i would like to talk about no problem but those student who feel lack of ideas on q pad question topic and lack of idea means if you don't have variance of idea then your two minute time will be a lender for you 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 may, you may not be able to um consume two minute time uh, by speaking so in this case uh some phrases to talk about background information can work to the greater extent that mean maile bhanna khoju pura ki do student to to student just like to me time cover garna ekdum garo parcha bhanda keri to student lai cha hamle ke garne bhane ki you gonna like a uh say something uh background information about the topic and come to the top it will consume to 15 second definitely then you have short time to uh, come on the main topic like as i did a bit uh, a bit earlier like okay all the person are not same though uh, some are really good and some are really um uh, bad and some person who give uh, give us good impression so i'm going to talk about that person who uh, who has given me a good impression he is none other than ravi lamichani okay i just talk about the ravi lamichani coming to the ravi lamichani main point but i just uh, use two or three sentences like a background information so it may help us uh to cover for two minute time those students who are really feeling problem of time uh, management in this figure this technique may help you you can just do in your practice time as well okay guys let's move to another one okay prompt to help you begin and develop your answer okay what do we just do to a uh, begin and to develop our answer for part two speaking actually in q or question if you don't understand okay sometimes there is there may be a problem to understand the topic you can just request the examiner so i'm getting the topic what the topic says then the examiner um, may repeat the question or elaborate the question but it sometimes it depends on examiner mood as well it's not guaranteed that examiner examiner uh, may repeat the question suitingly or not ask the examiner to repeat the question don't answer without understanding please neighbor john never try to answer the question that you are not getting what the question is asking after knowing the question then tend to answer make sure that your answer fits the examiner question definitely we just read the examiner face and we just uh, know the demand of question what the question is asking for us not necessary to speak only truth as i told you before you are not allowed to speak honestly but we say honestly speaking but actually no need to say no need to speak honestly you can make a hypothetical sentence structure play with the word ideas of language you are tested for your ability of language use not truth or content the content is not important 
whether I'm just talking about Sarukh Khan or Salman Khan, you just talk about your own father. Okay. Oh, he's talking about really celebrity Salman Khan. That means he has a good idea about the English. It's not like that. But it depends on what, how you are elaborating your main ideas, whether your speed uh, is good, your content, your vocabulary, your overall English proficiency is good or not. Here, the exam is going to uh, test your actual capacity of English, how long you can speak in a comprehensive way. So please focus on this way, not the topic. Oh, I'm going to talk about Shah Khan, go buy my boy, right there. Yes, I will just get a high No, not it's not certain. Okay, put your ideas into uh, an order. Sometimes you can just say, like, as I told you before, you just need to use connectives uh, to the greater extent, the main advantage of this, or uh, I think on the top of that, and give one or more reasons. You just say, okay, today I'm going to talk about one well known person uh, who has given me good impression. He is none other than Rabbi Lamisane. This is because you just elaborate now. Okay, don't speak fast or slowly, but clearly. As I told you before, this is not a news uh, reading. You are not a news reader. You are you are just reciting, no reading. You just recite what uh, the question asks in a very uh, comprehensive way. So it's like you are talking to your friend. You are sharing your experience with your friend. So while you are sharing your experience of Vision Kathmandu with your friend, then you are not has to wrap up all the ideas in short period of time. Eh? Last day I went Kathmandu and Kathmandu was really good places. I spent over there. I just visited every place, historical places, uh, Narayadi, um, Palace, Ajwal. Oh, it's not like that. You just take a pause, elaborate, so that second um, listener may uh, pay attention towards your answer. It's like that. Organize your answer, follow writing pattern, means your short note that you what you have produced on the short paper on the basis of the short note you need to speak and follow examiner direction. Mean for example, uh, for example, examiner provide you okay, you will have uh, one minute to prepare on the topic and you just look at the question and make it shall I start ma'am? Shall I start so students say please wait what the examiner says. Okay, examiner say that okay, you can start now, then you need to speak. And keep on speaking, keep on speaking. If the time is over, examiner notice you and inform you, okay, your time is over, thank you. Then stop. Don't tend to wrap up the ideas after saying the exam is stop. You need to follow the examiner in direction. Otherwise, examiner may devalue your score, may devalue your score. Yes, guys. Okay, this is the cue card question. Then how we just tackle? I just provided some uh, ideas for you. Okay, you can just try at your home. Uh, if you are alone, no problem. You can record your sound, listen back to your audio while speaking. You can look in the mirror and uh, make an eye contact. Okay, now let's go to part three speaking in section three. Two way discussion. Two way discussion mean it's like a tabletop. Yes. Examiner may ask you a question back to back and you uh, you need to elaborate your answer on the basis of examiner and if your answer is not logically developed or if you if you are not being able to fulfill the demand of the question, examiner may ask you a maximum cross question and this is not good to get high band score in your cases. So uh, section three is Okay, sorry for pausing. Okay, section three, two-way discussion. Uh, it's like a table talk. You and examiner involved in uh, answering question, a conversation. And this is also important because it will last for uh, three to five minutes and expressing opinion and giving reasons in a logical pattern on questions related to section two means section two question topic about person. Definitely in part three, you have a question about person. Okay, so here is high chance of idea repetition. Sometimes it's to repeat the idea, sometimes it's to not feel lack of ideas in this regard. Okay, okay guys, uh, uh, it, let me uh, complete this uh, slide here. 
then after uh, I'll provide two minutes uh, for something to add this up. Then after I'll just join with you. Okay, guys. So have patience for uh, the end of this uh, slide. I'm gonna elaborate. Okay, then listen carefully to the examiner question. Definitely, you need to pay attention towards examiner question. Otherwise, uh, your idea may go off topic, and off topic idea ideas answer may be penalized. And sometimes there is a problem that a student may not understand the question by the examiner. So you need to ask the question because the nature of question is a bit lengthy as compared to tax as compared to section one is speaking. And here you need to uh, produce a bit more uh, sentences answer, not two or three sentence answer. You need to speak here on the basis of R E E. I'm telling R E E. Read. R means reason. E means explain. And another e is example. Means your main answer should be explained or on the basis of example or along with example. Otherwise, your answer is poor. So I suggest and I highly recommend is my student please insert example while you are answering to the question in part B. Okay, you you missed to mention example in part one. That's not a great deal. But part three, you need to justify what you have said. And try to be fluent. You just know already. Concentrate on the organization and being coherent. Okay. You need your sentences should be logically developed. And you need to go into you need to go uh, into deep, greater, deeper to explain your opinion, give reasons, and spec uh, speculate. That way. Sometimes you have six questions, sometimes eight questions, or up to nine questions, back to back. The question will be open question. Yes, definitely. Exam it can some question can be aided and to be asked to uh, to you on the basis of examiner mood. So you need to focus on the examiner, what the examiner is asking, and sometimes you have uh, many icon 